Hello everybody, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It might be number 100, I'm not sure. It might also be number 99 or number 98. It's somewhere up there anyway. I'm currently reading Creative Blindness by Dave Trot. I've almost finished it and I'm literally just doing a few last bits at home now before I go and visit my mum in Tamworth. So I'm going to go and uh, stay there for a few days. I will of course take my camera. But because I'm going away, one of the things that I always do when I go to visit Tamworth is I take my longest unread book with me, which is usually Stephen King. I do actually have some other longer ones now, but I'm going to take my Stephen King because I want to read them. So I'm going to read The Bizarre of Bad Dreams and then I'm going to move on to The Institute. And I think that should pretty much keep me going until I get back. But I'm excited to get, uh, get cracking with them. Well, there you have it. Love living here, me. <laughs> so yeah, that's where we're at. Gonna need some of that. Right, where are we going? Oh, oh okay. Mm. She got a stomp box. She does have a stomp box. Mm. So what you want to do you know? Two fish and chips. I need to work that out because I'll make I can have my steak and something. Mm-hmm. So. Some joke about socks. Harris and his senior staff officers, Air Vice Marshals Ronald Graham and Robert Soundby, studying a map at Bomber Command HQ, High Wycombe, 1942. Taking the explosives out of the ejector seat. Yeah, that right there. Classic Streisand effect. This looks like it's been given to a little kid to colour in. One of the planes, one of the most elegant planes of the Second World War, the Dina, 
was always <laughs> reused when Germany tried in vain to acquire the rights of fabrication from Japan. So that was Japan's plane. This one's tiny. Oh, of course it's tiny. Yeah, kamikaze aircraft. Yeah. Cherry blossom. This is the world's oldest surviving Spitfire. The last in a series of destroyers, two motor destroyers built by Messerschmitt. <laughs> it was exploited by the Luftwaffe for a variety of roles. Got no chance of knowing, knowing the German. <laughs> the dam busters. I'm guessing that one isn't to scale as much. <laughs> this is the hangar. I used that line in a poem. Let's drop the, the UK's first A bomb and H bomb. It's the Phantom. It's a Sidewinder missile, still in production. As are these, the yeah, Sparrow.
<laughs> Those are just bathrooms, I guess, aren't they? Yeah. It's a gun. Oh, and it's still got a magazine there. I have made a cow friend. Is that nice? Yeah, everywhere. Moo! Hey, Mr. Cow. I hope I don't get charged by angry cows. Hello? Hello, Mr. Cow. How are you today? You all right, buddy? Oh, have a nice clean blah, 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 blah. Why, why are you hanging over here away from your friends? Hey, mate. Salut, encore une fois, c'est moi. Je suis désolé. Je pense que tu es un homme, mais tu es une femme. That's what I get for assuming the uh, gender identity of you guys. Okay, Vielen Dank, auf Wiedersehen. Hello, it's Dane and Biggie is behind me somewhere. There he is. Uh, I'm currently, I got that from Tamworth. I'm currently trying out my new electric wok to attempt to make a, a mushroom chow mein. I think it's nearly ready. Let's try some. Try one of the mushrooms. Or something like... I don't want it to be hard, you see. No, I still need some more. I think I put the noodles in too early. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm back from Tamworth where I went to visit my mum. I went there on the Monday, stayed there Monday night. Uh, Tuesday we went to Litchfield and we had some food at the Ultimate Vegan Cafe. Wednesday we went to RAF Cosford to look at the um, our, like RAF Aircraft Museum there. And then today is Thursday so I saw my granddad this morning. Then went for some um, a drink of coffee with my friend Joe and then travelled back. Unfortunately I had a horrible panic attack on the way back so for about two hours I was just sort of practising constantly uh, breathing and stuff and I listened to... Um, He's called Krishna Das, that's it. And he's, um, boo, 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 got your belly. Um, he does like, um, uh, like chant leading for yoga and like Buddhist worship and stuff. And he's just basically the best guy at it. He's like mixed, um, like Eastern yoga chants with Western music and Western harmonies and stuff. If you're listening to stuff like that and doing breathing, it makes anxiety easier. I'm not going to say like that it doesn't, affect you at all but it does make it easier but yeah I did have a coffee as well so I think that is probably why so I probably am just gonna have to stop drinking caffeine completely and I've already stopped drinking booze although well it's only for October at the moment but I might still keep going into November we'll see um, 
was just, yeah, if I dropped caffeine, what was the other thing I'd drop? Well, caffeine and booze between them are both big ones. Oh, and like energy drinks and all that shit. And I've been getting to do some more works and stuff. That ping was Susie, messaging me on WhatsApp. Um, she is who helped me to film the local haunts tag. Sorry, I've got a pumpkin here as well, so I've just been taking the stickers off. Because uh, we're going to carve this pumpkin, I think. We'll see, won't we be... What are you doing? What are you doing down there? What? He's... Yes, watch out. Oh, i got my new tattoo. It's still healing at the moment. It is Yurik Bernison slash a Panzer Bjorn. Uh, it looks horrible at the moment because all my skin's peeling off. And I think we might have to go over again some of the wolf's face. It depends what it looks like when the scabs have gone off. Because the scabs have, like, raised it up in places where it wouldn't normally be raised. And you currently can't see because of the light and the oil I put on. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see it there. But then, like, those scabs there, when they fo flop off, he should look a bit more bear-like. He looked good. He looked good when they first did it, so it's just the healing process. I remember Mr. Wolf, he looked terrible when, I, when he was healing as well, but he turned out alright. But also they give me free touch-ups, so if any of it has gone tits up, they'll fix it for me. So, where am I at? I've carried on reading various bits and bobs. Um, when I was here last, I was finishing off... What was I finishing off, Biggs? I can't even remember. Anyway, whatever I last read, I finished that. And then I took with me um, William Shakespeare's Star Wars, The Empire Striketh Back. So it's St Star Wars written as a Shakespeare play, which is a lot of fun. Yoda spoke in iambic pentameter. Uh, so I gave that like a pretty solid 4, 4.5 out of 5. And now I'm just reading The Institute by Stephen King in about 140 pages from the end. I was hoping to finish it on the train today, but as I say, two hours of panic attack, so I couldn't focus on anything. Um, but I am enjoying it. I don't have too much to say about it. I I haven't tabbed it out to do a review, but even if I had, I would have only had about a dozen things to say. But um, yeah, it's good so far, so there's that. And yeah, it was nice to see my mum. It's also nice to be back and see Biggie. And hopefully just, I don't know, relax back into life a little bit. And not have any more panic attacks, because they're horrible, man. They're really bad. They're, like, it's really fucking with my shit. I'd rather be depressed every day than have an anxiety attack once a month, you know? But such is the way of life. So yeah, now I'm back, I'm just cracking on with being productive, gonna do some booktube stuff, doing my chow mein, to test out my new electronic wok thing. Obviously gotta do my unpacking and stuff, bit of work, all the usual stuff. I'm just gonna sit here and watch YouTube. Yeah. It was creative blindness, that was what I was reading last, and I actually need to do a review of that, so I will do that soon. Uh, other than that, I don't actually have too much, I've got my wrap up to do. A few other bits, we'll get there. Hello, I am watching that chapter. He's, uh, he's doing the disturbing case of Cosmo Donado. It's very interesting, um, but also very sad because obviously someone died. I'm still reading The Institute by Stephen King. I have about 80 pages to go or something. As you can see, I have this big old pile of stuff behind me that I need to haul. 
and uh, yeah, some of it's going on eBay as well, so I need to sort that stuff out. But I'm also trying my best to like clean and tidy my house while getting some work done because um, um, because Susie's coming over this evening and I'm cooking dinner and she's going to edit uh, the booktube tag we shot. I've already edit did a first edit, so she's going to do a new edit. So that should be nice. Uh, hopefully that'll be out tomorrow. Also, I have good news. The um, funding bid I wrote for the Arts Centre where I work, uh, we've heard that we were successful. So we're getting £55,000 in emergency COVID relief funding, which is very good. It will help us to, to keep going. So that's where I'm at today. Hello, hello, how are you? Don't know why I'm singing. I guess why not? Um, I'm currently just faffing at the moment. My computer's going super slow because, well, okay, so it's Saturday, the, what is it? Let me check my Fitbit. It's Saturday the 17th of October. It's about 9.20 p.m. My shutter wasn't open properly. Um, so Susie came over yesterday and I cooked uh, mushroom, vegan mushroom chow mein uh, for dinner, which was very nice. And um, so she'd already helped me film this video. Um, the, uh, oh God, what's it called? The Local Haunts book tag, uh, an original book tag. So we filmed that last weekend in West Wickham. Um, and then I did, oh, yeah, it started playing there. I did an original cut and then she sort of did the final edit. Uh, so we were finishing that off yesterday and then well we finished it off today I guess because we finished the edits yesterday and then we just had to get the music uh, done today and that was more of a faff than you would believe but we did it and it's out now so that's good so I've already uploaded it to booktube um, which I finished at about half five and it's now coming up to half nine and it's got 50 views and 13 likes which is good I mean I don't really do it for the likes and whatnot but um it was really enjoyable to put like more effort into a project and stuff and like do a more polished video and we've got a new channel uh, which I'll link to below which is Lord Literature and Madam Media I guess it's just our nicknames for each other because I'm really into books she's really into movies so we're hopefully gonna do a lot of stuff like for example The Martian we watched that together and I re reread it not long ago and we might do like a book versus movie comparison p uh, potentially where we'll both read the book and the movie and discuss them and um, you know do some stuff there so that could be cool uh so we might do that and any other video ideas people have got really we're going to do a blooper reel from the local haunts video so i've been editing out just cutting down the bloopers and then uh, susie's going to do the final edit so that should be good uh and yeah she used to do vi her own video projects as well back in the day so it'd be cool to work on some stuff together my tattoo is let's have a look he is still healing but it's mostly there uh it itches a lot um, but it's only got a few little scabby bits left to go and then other than that it's all done it's funny because it looks I'm really happy with how it looks like on camera and in photos and stuff but I can't really see it I could only just see his face like I, I'll ne I can never get a view as good as the one you've got of it now um, but that's fine I mean that's all good. I like that. And I like how, I, I think I said before as well, I like how it sticks out the end of my sleeve as well. Uh, and obviously, I've got my other tattoos. I think I've got, I mean, have I got <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. And I'm really off balance because I've only got two on this arm. My first one and my book's there. Uh, although I'm probably going to have VV from Final Fantasy IX beneath the books at some point. Uh, so yeah But at the moment I feel a bit top-heavy because I got too many on this arm now and not enough on this one so uh, so yeah What else have I got to tell you guys? I'm still reading the Institute. I've nearly finished it now. I'm like 40 pages if that from the end uh, I've been doing a lot of editing and stuff today, so um, well, I've got all my Tamworth vlog. I haven't even started editing that, so that's going to be fun to do as well. Um, so I have got quite a lot of editing to do. I haven't done this week's radio show, and I need to record that. Um, Susie's probably going to be my guest on that as well, mainly because I'm going. So I'm going to hers tomorrow. Um, she's been working on this cigar, pro uh, this cigar box project for a client. So 
uh, she's got some like, uh, I, I can't remember the word for it now, but it's like etching into the wood with um, like a heat iron thing. She's got to do that and some more painting to do. So I'm going to take my laptop along and either work on client stuff or just write my novel. Um, probably just write my novel. I did a bit of that yesterday while she was over and that was like nice just to both sort of sit in there in silence doing our own creative stuff, you know. So um, probably I'll probably start doing my novel and do a thousand, two thousand words, and then when I start getting bored, basically, then I'll switch on to client stuff. So that is the plan. Um, I think after I finish reading the Institute, if I can find it, there was a little environmental book I had. In fact, I don't even know what I'm going to read next. I've got loads of cool, like really cool stuff to get. Hello, people of YouTube. I am here looking all like Shaggy from Scooby Doo. Look at that bloody hell. Um, this is one of Susie's tops. Uh, Apparently it was black and then she spilled bleach on it and so she decided to like reverse tie dye it I guess you could say and it weirdly suits me although like my boobs come out <laughs> um, Yeah, because I went to her house earlier. It's Sunday. What is it? It's Sunday the 18th of October um, So yeah, I woke up pretty late today actually now my battery's running out luckily I got some spares already charged but yeah, I woke up kind of late, about half, 11-ish, 12-ish, something like that. I had some weird dreams. Um, and then, yeah, went over to Susie's. She lives up a big old hill, so I decided to walk there. And then when I got there, I was very sweaty. So she was kind enough to let me borrow one of her t-shirts. Uh, I walked back as well, though. So how many steps are we on? Let's have a look. 14,844, which makes up for yesterday, when I, I didn't even hit my 8,000 goal. So yes, so I went there and uh, it was really fun because she does some art, so she's working on a commissioned project uh, to build a cigar box guitar. Um, and so uh, I should point out, so Susie is, uh, <laughs> um, I, f I shot a video with her, so you probably saw that, um, the, uh, the local haunts book tag. So we shot that together in West Wickham and then I did the first edit and then she basically just re-edited it because she's better at editing. Uh, and we have a YouTube channel called Lord Literature and Madam Media where we're gonna do like film and book hybrid -y stuff. Um, so link to that below, uh, definitely check that out. It's just a placeholder channel at the moment, we don't have anything on there yet. Um, but yeah, so she also does arts and stuff, so she like studied media and um, again does a lot of art and so she's done, doing this commission where she's building a cigar box guitar. Told you the battery was running out, although apparently this one is as well, so we'll see. Uh, yeah, I can't play the cigar box guitar, but I would love to be able to. Um, it uses a different style, basically, like with the way the frets are, um, or at least it usually does. I'm assuming the one that she's building will do as well. Uh, I'm not sure if she's doing like the fretting on it. I guess she's doing the design work and he'll do the build, you know? Um, but cigar box guitars, they normally, instead of having like a guitar, just has, I'll show you, look. You see on, here we go, come over here. So a cigar box guitar has, I think it's called a diatonic fretboard, I'm not entirely sure. But basically on a guitar you've got that's E, and then that's F, uh, F sharp, G, G sharp, E, uh, sorry, A. And um, whereas on a cigar box guitar, they would have this fret here, but then the next fret would be the G fret, so they don't have the F sharp. That battery also died. Yeah, so they don't have um, like uh, all the sharp notes basically. So a cigar box guitar will generally go like E, F, G, uh, A, B, C, D, and then back to E and keep going up like that. So they have like bigger spaces, but they're really cool for playing like slide on. Uh, they're quite popular for blues as well. As I say, I can't play cigar box guitar, but there's a guy on uh, YouTube called Steve Harvey. Uh, so check his channel out who does play some really good blues guitar, uh, like full electric guitar and also slide box guitar as well. Cigar box guitar, sorry. And actually, if you want to learn to play, he's got some videos on there as well. So I might learn one day, uh, I'm tempted. And I had actually previously, that's kind of the funny thing, like uh, if you look over there, my electric guitar down there, a bay she's called, uh, I built her and decorated her myself. And also up there, that green ukulele, I did that myself. So I had thought about building a cigar box guitar, so maybe that's something we'll do in the future. Although, like, I know how long it takes her to do it, so I don't want to take... I don't, I'd pay her, you know? <laughs> I don't know what her rate is, I'd have to find out, I suppose. Or pay her in turn. Maybe I could, I could like, set her up a web... Ah, that's an idea. I could set her up a website and she could design a guitar for me. Mmm. Possible. Anyway, 
Uh, yeah, so she was working on this cigar box design. It's really cool. It's, infl it's inspired by The Martian as well, which is one of her favourite films. So we might do that as, um, uh, you know, a video together where I read the book and she read watches the movie. I mean, ideally, we should both read the book and both watch the movie and then discuss it both from our points of view. I think that would be really cool. Um, so we'll see. But yeah, she's doing this like Martian inspired design. So she was painting that and then I had my laptop there. I had to do some art centre work and some for another one of my clients um because i'm missing deadlines which is bad um but i did some of that i also did some writing of the new lightfall book as well and just a few other bits and bobs so it was quite cool because we could like be productive together and stuff uh and then as i say i walked back and um i've just been down to the art center to like change some locks and some codes and stuff over there because it's sunday evening so we let people know in advance you know as of Monday, they're going to be changed. So I've been in today to just just to change those. I'm watching Jack Septicai, that pet, 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 Jack Septicai donate to smaller streamers. Uh, I'm kind of am a bit over the fad of donating to smaller streamers, but actually, his smaller streamer videos where he donates are like the only ones that I do watch, um, just because they're so wholesome. And also, he finds some really good channels. Like, unfortunately, I'm not really into streaming, so I don't subscribe to them or anything. But it's nice to see what people are doing and you know, some music channels and stuff. I finished reading uh, The Institute earlier as well, so now I'm currently reading Crow by Ted Hughes. It's, it's good. I've, uh, I'm going to be doing a review of it soon. But uh, I will tell you more about that next week, I guess, because that's the end of another weekly reading vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comments what you're currently reading and also if you've read any of the books we've talked about this week. Hit the subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.